Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. This is day two of the 2025 Advent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna solve 31 Katrina Ag puzzles. We're given two regular hexagons. This has a length of six, and it wants us to find this length. If you wanna try to solve it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, let's connect these two vertices. And let's see if I can dim this. That's cool. I might start doing that from now on. That'll be easier to see what I'm drawing. And then for the next step, let's connect this right here. These are going to be at right angles to each other. And that's true for any regular hexagon. If you connect any two vertices like this, it'll always be perpendicular to two of the sides. And the same thing is going to happen in this regular hexagon. These two will also be perpendicular. And then from here, if we extend this all the way to here, here, it will hit this other vertex. And that has to do with the fact that this is parallel to this is parallel to this. And same thing here, if we extend this one, it will hit this vertex. And once again, that's related to the fact that all of these are parallel. And then once again, using the fact these are regular hexagons, this line would bisect this angle. Each angle in a regular hexagon is 120 degrees, which means this half would be 60 degrees. And then for the same reason, this one is also 60 degrees. And they're also vertical angles. In this triangle, we have a 90 degrees and a 60 degrees, so the last angle has to be 30 degrees. And same thing for this triangle, this has to be 30 degrees. So now we have two nice looking 30, 60, 90 triangles. And then something else really cool is happening. Both of these right angles subtend this pink line. That means if we construct a circle with this diameter, it'll go through this point, this point, this point, and this point. And that's because of these notes right here. These right angles will always stand on the diameter of the same circle. And then another property of inscribed angles is the measure of the arc is always double the inscribed angle. So for this inscribed angle of 30 degrees, this arc will equal double the 30 degrees or 60 degrees. And we can see the same thing happens on this side. This 60 degrees is double this 30 degrees. Next, let's find the center of the circle and let's draw the radius from here to here. And let's label it R for radius. And then we can draw the radius from here to here, and it'll also be equal to R. Things are looking a little cluttered. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Now these two radii form a central angle that stands on this arc. According to these notes, the measure of a central angle is congruent to the measure of the subtended arc. So this central angle is 60 degrees. And now we have a nice looking triangle with our given line. This is an isosceles triangle with this side equal to R and this side equal to R. That means these two angles opposite the congruent sides will be congruent. Let's call them theta for now. And then since this angle is 60 degrees, these two have to add up to 120 degrees, which means each of them are 60 degrees. That means this is an equilateral triangle. So all three of the sides have to be congruent. Since this is six, each of these will also be six. And each of these sides were a radius of this circle. And that means the diameter of the circle will be double of those, which is equal to 12. And this is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. In the given diagram, the length of this pink line is equal to 12. And since this has no label, I'm not gonna give this a label. How exciting. This was day two of our advent calendar, and this is day three. We're given a regular hexagon with two purple lines that create kites inside of the regular hexagon. And it wants to know what is this missing area. This looks like it'll be a fun one. I can't wait to see the video. How exciting.